up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're looking at Super Rugby New Zealand Team of the Season. Unfortunately the season came to an end, not the way we wanted it. We wanted to see the Crusaders take on the Blues in Auckland but unfortunately due to COVID-19 that wasn't meant to happen. But we did see the Highlanders take on the Crusaders in an amazing game as Highlanders take on the Hurricanes in an amazing performance from the Highlanders to pick up that final victory. Now, we've seen some stars get created over these past few months and it really has been an unbelievable tournament. There was no rugby for months and months, but then finally New Zealand came up with the new, the their local Super Rugby tournament, which was taken with a bang, which hit the world with a bang from the start to the end. It was amazing. We saw quality rugby from the Crusaders who won the tournament. We saw the Blues really show so much improvement and growth, which has been absolutely outstanding. Hurricanes showing their effort and fighting till the end. The Highlanders really showing improvement from compared to what we saw at the original campaign earlier this year. Unfortunately for the Chiefs and Warren Gatlin, winless throughout the whole tournament, but I'm sure they will be able to bounce back. Having said that, we saw phenomenal players. I mean, from Will Jordan, who was an absolute star for the Crusaders, to Otera Black, who, who started off the tournament for the Blues with a bang. I mean, we were all expecting the big talk of Bowden Barrett, but Black just took the world by storm. Veterans like Shannon Frizzle really showing the world what um, he's capable of, what he can do. And that was definitely exciting for us fans to witness. And um, we just continue to see Damian McKenzie in a very tough position of a team that's just not winning, showing that he can still do it. Geordie Barrett, I mean, really showing his absolute class. There was a lot of players around all five franchises that stood out. And today we're selecting my team of the season. It's extremely tough to do these types of videos because there's obviously other players that you want to select or might deserve a position but due to certain instances. Others won't select them, others would. So for startup, here is my Super Rugby Team of the Season. Have a look. So as you can see, I think it's a fairly fair team. Um, obviously, there's going to be players that you guys might think should come in or should come out. Um, I think it's the first time I've ever selected a New Zealand team where I didn't put in Bowden Barrett. And obviously, I think we can all agree to the reasoning of that. But I'll get into that as we go along. So to start off, Joe Moody, I mean, he was phenomenal. The veterans still have plenty to offer for the Crusaders. I had to include him. Cody Taylor, not only his leadership, uh, for the Crusaders, but I mean, considering that the lineups from the Crusaders weren't on point, really, a lot of sometimes wobbly at times, he still was exceptional with his throwing, and I thought he was outstanding. Alpha at number three, Sam Whitelock, another one um, who really progressed as the tournament went on. Uh, Patrick at number five for the Blues, absolutely outstanding, as mentioned. Shannon Frizzle, I mean, between him, Cullen Grace was flying. Also, but Frizzle for me was was brilliant. Um, unfortunately, due to injury, um, Cullen Grace obviously probably would have taken the the way forward because of what he's had to offer throughout the whole tournament. But for me, Shannon Frizzle was just consistent, and um, credit to him. And he was often in the top five players um, of the of the week and all that stuff. Boshier from the Chiefs, number seven, um, also from adjusting to breakdown to. He fitted in perfectly, and considering the team performances that were produced, he was able to get over the ball again and again without um, his former or normal peers that he's used to. So great stuff from him. Marino, I think this is going to be the one that could take a hit from you guys, maybe. Obviously, Hoskins, Satutu, I would have put in hands down first, but because he missed the second half of the tournament, I thought only fair to be uh, putting in Marino from behind is there. 
Um, the attacking stats was brilliant um, for the four as a forward, and uh, he outpipped Ari Savia for me, who started off a little bit slow. This Cap Marino was consistent, and for that I give him credit. Aaron Smith taking the leadership role for the Highlanders, outstanding in every aspect of the game. It was a battle between him and TJ. Normally I would go with TJ, but I thought, considering how the Highlanders progressed and improved, there were times when they were poor, but he did not um, let them down. He fought, he led, he was remarkable. I mean, not much could be said about number 10. I don't think many can argue with me here. Rishi Mwanga. He was absolutely outstanding in every aspect of the game for the Highlanders. He for the Crusaders, sorry. He changed the face of the game. He when the Crusaders might not be on point, he would change it and then the All Match Seven started winning. Richie takes the cake for this year's Super Rugby Bar Nine. Caleb Clark, obviously the wing for the Blues, such a phenomenal young talent that he's just gonna only get better and better. And Ghani at number twelve for me. I mean, he's brute force. Not many can argue with how how brilliant he was. Rico Iwani, I gave number 13. I mean, the speed from him was back. A lot of questions of whether or not he should. Yes, he can learn a little bit more at number 13. But for that, it could be a position for him going forward at centre, either 12 or 13. Um, and I'm giving it to him. Will Jordan, can't miss him in my squad. Absolutely outstanding player who is just phenomenal. And um, the fact that he just can take in, it's going to be exciting, take in and score tries and just come out of nowhere. Um, he's going to be exciting in the All Black squad and I actually can't wait to see what he has to produce for that team. Um, it's really remarkable. Number 15, tough battle between Damon McKenzie, Bowden Barrett or Geordie, but I went with Geordie. He was just remarkable for the Hurricanes. Kicking game was a little bit sloppy the past weekend. But overall, this guy uh, just eliminates costly mistakes. He's just on point, a, a giant strides, and constantly always looks like a threat when he has that ball in hand and is all black material. Uh, the headache that John Plumtree, Ian Foster currently have as the all blacks coach is remarkably challenging. It's phenomenal, it's great for them, but it's also challenging because you've got three quality fullbacks in Jordy, Bowden and um, Danny McKenzie. You've got three quality f uh, fly halves in uh, Bowden, Atera Black, Rishi Mwangu is taking the cake right now. Your centres, I mean Jack Kirgiou, all the other blokes, phenomenal. Will Jordan, he can also play fullback, he can also play wing. Then you've got Sever Reese, who is another one who I maybe had in my squad, but I thought Jordan needs to get this one. I mean, the quality, and let's not forget, you got the scrum offs, Aaron Smith, TJ Perinara, let's not forget Christie, for the Blues he was outstanding. The headache of where to put Adi Savia, Sam Kane, Satutu, Marino, Lechman, I mean, guys, it's just crazy. Shannon, the, what the All Blacks or New Zealand rugby has right now is absolutely remarkable and it's going to be exciting to see what they produce this year in the rugby championship good luck to the all blacks good luck to the team management because that squad that you got i mean there are other players that deserve a position yeah and that just goes to show the headache that a coach has to have to select quality because they're all quality but to get a final squad is going to be tough so good luck to get foster and john plumtree and there you have it that is my super rugby ultra -row team of the season I'm going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.